Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to High Media TV. I'm Evan from High Media TV, and this is Nerd News. The top story of the day is the PS5 Pro pricing. But we're going to get into to our headlines for the day first, starting with the uh, allegedly the iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Plus, will support AAA games. Elden Ring got a patch to patch 1.14, including balancing for PvP and a nerf for the final boss of the DLC. Steam, there's the game The Depths of Avalon is a new co-op dungeon crawler that is now available for free to play on Steam as well. Skyrim players, including myself, panic as Bethesda reaches, releases a patch for Old Rim, the legendary edition of Skyrim, the, that is the version that was released in 2011, with, along with all the DLC, that updates the game for better compatibility with NVIDIA streaming. Microsoft is to lay off 3% of its global workforce, including about Three six hundred and fifty employees, including an additional post Activision. This is for post Activision Blizzard cuts. And moving on to our final story of the day, the PS4, the PS5 Pro has been announced at the tune of seven hundred dollars. It is supposedly supposed to feature 60 FPS up to 120 with 4K output ray tracing for compatible games. And it's $700. Now I want to talk about the $700 note real quick. I want to remind everybody that when the PlayStation 4 came out, um, it wasn't in the middle of a chip shortage and scalp. As well, and had, and while, and was itself had an issue of being a Bloodborne box for a good number of time due to the lack of, you know, Providence exclusives. It took, you know, two to three years for good exclusives to come out. Bloodborne came out in 2016. You know, God of War, the God of War games didn't come out until 2018 at the latest. You know, there are a lot, PlayStation lacked good exclusives and as such playstation 5 continues that trend except it's even worse because due to the fact that there was such a low install base on on release due to the chip shortage and further struggle because of scalpers the g game companies elected to not go for playstation exclusivity i think the first the only prominent you know game that i would have even considered like possibly getting a PS5 even used to play was the Demon Souls remaster. And even then, you know, the amount of people that would want to play the Demon Souls remaster, you know, given the lack of, you know, quality of life improvements that came from later from soft games like Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring and Bloodborne, it it it, it it's it, it it it's just, you know, in a worse, you know, state. We are two year two we are three and a half years removed from the launch of the you know PlayStation five and by at this time uh in the PlayStation 4's life cycle it was selling it had sold about sixty and a half million like units. PlayStation 5's only sold 15 and a half by comparison in the same time frame. Also, the at the, the amount of exclusive PlayStation games at the time was approximately was about 21. The PlayStation uh, or or rather no the or no the um the uh, PlayStation 5s the number of PlayStation 5 exclusives period no other one else can play it period just PlayStation 5s not PlayStation 4s not PC period is 21 there were more at on on the PlayStation 4 at 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 the at the same time frame so let's you know be for real we're not going to get solid 
you know, PlayStation exclusives for five for exclusives for another couple years. And they are already selling a PlayStation, you know, Pro. That being said, the economical route obviously isn't helping either. Consoles, you know, have kind of homo homogenized in a way. People are, you know, Xbox, the Xbox, you know, the new Xboxes, they're just Game Pass boxes. You know, they are an extension of the PC ecosystem, and, you know, Xbox is doing fine, you know, if you get a $300 Xbox and a Game Pass subscription, you're Gucci. It's just people don't want to make exclusives for Xbox either because most of the people who play it just play it for Game Pass. And most of the Game Pass things are not console exclusives. They are. I can play most of those on PC as well. So what, what I think people need to kind of understand here is that we are kind of witnessing the death of exclusivity. The PlayStation Pro is good for people who want, you know, that next-gen gaming thing, but we are in the middle of a recession, you know, like, there, there are reset, like, people, like, if you are living in, depending on your socioeconomic class, you are in a recession. If you are not, you know, upper middle class, you're, you're, uh, you're feeling the recession, basically, in this country, so, you know, I think... The seven hundred dollar is a tall ask, and and I say this, you know, not to be like the PC dude, bro. I say this genuinely. You could get a pre-built, not even like going through the pain in the ass of building your computer, a pre-built standing PC. You get a gaming laptop for seven hundred dollars and have it, you know, and, and it be solid. We are very much at a point now where, you know, the the consoles have always been, consoles have always been um, the cheaper option. You know, you, you get a console because it's, you only buy it once and it's everything you need. You don't need to do, you're not doing anything else on it but playing games and maybe watching movies and it's, a, and, and, and you spend a fraction of what you would pay on a computer. This is not the case anymore. Seven hundred dollar. If you are that in need of higher fidelity graphics, and you are that much in need for you know a faster processing power, the problem is 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 that the PlayStation Five Pro is not competing with Xbox and Nintendo anymore, it's competing with the PC platform and it will lose in that regard. Are there going to be people who buy it because of brand loyalty and they've invested so much in their accounts? Sure. But also, you can play PS Now games, including Bloodborne, by the way, on PC using PlayStation Now. So... Um, I think this is, I you know, PlayStation has always, like, leaned for a more expensive premium, you know, price more so. And, you know, that that's kind of what got them through in a lot of ways. But I think, ultimately, this is, you know, we are very much in a, you know, pit bull economy. We are in a pit, we are in a, in a like, struggle economy right now. And this is, I think, not a great indicator that the pricing for this was all thought through um you know despite you know the amount like the sales of individual games and stuff on the xbox platform not being great you know i still maintain that if you are when you want to play games badly enough an xbox is the way to go because you can buy it for three one for 300 bucks brand new spend your 20 dollars on fucking game pass a month you know, get you know, and and then with that, you now can play as many games as you want for free. For the so, the play, you know, if if you are, I I pity any. It's like Apple. It's like I pity anybody that is so deep in that ecosystem that they are struggling to this degree. My heart goes out.
hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a food to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.